Black History Month usually serves as a time we recognize past achievements and legacies of African Americans that helped shape the world we live in today. But there's a younger generation of African Americans right here in the Tennessee Valley who also deserve recognition for their achievements. News 12's Eric Avnier introduces us to them in part two of the Black History Month special report. We're on a quest to be the best, and we expect success. Ryo Kelly and Christian Sinclair are both seniors at Brainerd High School. The two were also honor students who were academically in the top 10% of their class. Both have full plates in the classroom and out in the community. I am a Girl Scout helper for a Girl Scout troop, and I tutor and read to students at um, Shepherd Recreational Center after school. Um, I'm involved with the Belt Leadership Team, um, the Brainerd Elite Leadership Team, um, and also um, I work with the Midtown City Council and SGA, Student Government Association, Key Club, and I also tutor kids. Christian has already been accepted to MTSU where he will study communications. Ryle is also on her way to college where she says higher education will give her the tools to obtain her dream career. Um, I plan on either attending Tennessee Tech or University of Memphis majoring in communications and marketing where I hope to work PR and marketing for a company one day and also have my own nonprofit on the side. Both Ryle and Christian say their moms played a big role in helping them be the persons they are today. I've watched her just push and push to make sure that I have the best life and that I don't want for anything. So whenever I accomplish things, I owe it all to my mom. My mom. <laughs> She's sending me texts every day, devotionals every day, and always telling me to do my best. And um, um, it's just, she's just really motivating, very motivating. The two honor students say they are fully aware of other kids their age who are at the other end of the spectrum, kids who are struggling, kids who are ready to give up hope, but they urge those kids to keep hope alive. There is always hope. There are people who are going to love you, there are people who are going to mentor you, and there are people you can really look up to in leadership. Whatever you're going through now is not the end. You, there's always a door open for change, and you can't let your trials and tribulations hinder you from becoming the best that you can be. Wise words from two honor students with bright futures. Eric Avignet, News 12 Now.